What's up everybody? On today's video, we're going to be looking at the worst reviews for hospitality, restaurants, and businesses in the Montgomery, Alabama area. I have told you guys how horrible I thought service in general was in Montgomery, Alabama. But on today's video, we're going to listen to other people's experiences and see how it went for them. So let's get in here and look at some of the worst reviews that we could find on Google Maps for the Montgomery, Alabama area. All right, so Jordan Bray, Millbrook, Alabama McDonald's. This is one of the most notorious McDonald's in the Montgomery area. And it's right off of Highway 14 in Millbrook, Alabama. Two months ago, Jordan says, absolutely horrible. I sat in the driveway through order two cheeseburgers for 40 minutes the line never moved called the place asked how much longer they would take for the line to move and their response was i don't know and they hung up complete trash and let me tell you jordan i have also had the same experience at this particular mcdonald's except for in my experience the workers were outside smoking partying having a good time while a very long line of people that just wanted a dang cheeseburger apparently that's too much in Millbrook, Alabama to ask. Referring to the same McDonald's in Millbrook, Alabama, Eddie Rogers says, and by the way, he's a local guide with 25 reviews, I wouldn't eat here even if I was starving. All right, we're gonna stay in the Millbrook, Alabama area, referring to a Popeyes that's also on the same road in Millbrook, Alabama, just to the north of Montgomery. Jerry says he waited in the drive through for what seemed like forever. It seems like Jerry had a long list of complaints. He goes on to specifically point out the race of every particular person he dealt with. Jerry got tired of waiting, so he decided he was gonna walk right into the door where he asked a woman, are you open? And listen to how he described it. First he mentioned it was a black woman. He had to go off the bat and say that. She turned and said to me in a sarcastic tone, uh, you walked in here, didn't you? Ooh. I'm not even going to read the whole thing that Jerry said. He just very specifically had to point out everybody's race involved as if that was really that important in typical Millbrook, Alabama fashion. And of course, he's not the only disgruntled Alabamian at the Millbrook Popeyes. JD says the wife waited for half an hour for an order that was almost entirely wrong. Regular chicken tenders, they're supposed to be spicy. Missing on the side, the meal was wrong with the side and the other. She had to argue to get a missing drink. And when she got home, she realized there was no sauce for the tenders. Last time we give this location a chance. And by the way, this is a brand new Popeyes that they just opened in Millbrook. And I can tell you that this whole waiting a very long time for a meal thing is just part of life along Highway 14 in Millbrook, Alabama. There's a Jack's right next to this Popeyes, and it was normal for us to have to wait 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and they would always, after waiting so long, forget the dang comeback sauce. Dang it, Millbrook, Alabama, that ain't right. Of course, that's not the only complaint about this Popeyes in Millbrook. According to Vince Jones, I get the Popeyes at 10.09. They're open at 10. I order my lunch and they're a 15 minute wait. I'm the only dang person at that door. Why should there be a wait? You should open. The chicken should be ready when you study your day. And that's right, I totally agree with Vince. I mean, the chicken should be ready when you start your day, if you work at Popeyes, if you work at Popeyes and the chicken ain't ready, when you start your days, you should not cut for Popeyes. That's just not, that's that's just that's just wrong. Vince, I, I don't even know why they do something like that to you. That's just wrong. I like how detailed he was. He was like, I'm there at 1009 and I still gotta wait another 15 minutes. That's what's nine plus fifteen. That's that's a lot of time, man. Not, I don't know how to count. I forgot how to count, but that's a long time to wait for some chicken, man. Thomas also had some problems at the Millbrook Popeyes. He didn't give it a one star. He gave it a two star. He says, some of the slowest service I've seen anywhere. Now, when somebody in Millbrook, Alabama says some of the slowest service I've seen anywhere, let me tell you, these people in Millbrook, Alabama are used to slow service. When somebody in Millbrook, Alabama thinks your service is slow, 
Believe me, it's slow. He says, I spent four to five minutes waiting in the drive through on multiple occasions. This guy sounds like a detective. The food is good, but man, not really worth the wait when it takes that long. Who wants to wait that long for some Popeyes in Millbrook, Alabama? I sure I wouldn't want to wait that long. I wouldn't even want to be in Millbrook, Alabama, let alone that long. One of the most notorious places for customer service in the Montgomery area is the truck stop by 65. Siri, who is also a local guy, gives it one star and says, The place is honestly ratchet, man. The shelves are not even stocked. The line was out the door. There's no parking. The poor employees were trying to do their best to hold down the fort and be kind. People were yelling it was a mess. And the bathrooms were in typical Montgomery fashion, dirty. This truck stop is how Boozy would say, They hitting the ties with ratchet, man. Melissa Kilpatrick has given 63 reviews in Montgomery, and when she stayed at the Bama Inn four years ago, they had roaches, dust on the wall, people were knocking on my door the whole dang night, watch people slanging, oh my gosh, through the day and at night, worst of all, a man got whacked in front of our hotel room, alongside, I can't even read the rest of this, it's too much. I'm not going to stay at the Bama Inn. Let me just tell you right now, when I go to Montgomery, I'm not staying at the Bama Inn. That's, that's too much. Back at the Millbrook McDonald's, Kendra Washington took a takeout order from McDonald's, and she says, be careful now with the restaurant. Please do not use your debit card. Money was stolen from my credit card to pay for someone's Apple Music account. Be aware of this restaurant. Can you imagine that? You worked so hard, Kendra, to have money in your bank account. And these fools that work at McDonald's probably took your money to buy some music from Kendrick Lamar or Lil Baby with your hard-earned money that you were going to use to buy McChickens and stuff like that. That's just wrong. Let me just say, um, I also use this McDonald's. And while I waited for about 45 minutes with my truck and trailer to get exactly a cheeseburger, fries, and a sweet tea, they're outside listening to Lil Baby. Yeah, on their phones. Probably with the money they stole from Kendra Washington's. Well, that was six months ago. This happened to me way before that. So maybe there were other victims. We got to find out what's going on. This Millbrook McDonald's is completely out of control. Be careful, people. Kendra went all the way out of her way to make this review. This, this ain't right. And that's not the only thing going on at the McDonald's in Millbrook. Four months ago, according to Becky, the ice cream machine was brought. Let me tell you, that's not just in Millbrook. That's that's a norm. That's a standard practice right there for McDonald's. So that's not good. That's not good, but it's not uncommon either. Okay. However, my Oreo McFluffy only had Oreo in maybe the top inch and in half inch. The website says ice cream. I feel like I got scammed. You know what? You didn't get scammed. Okay. When you go to a McDonald's. You expect their ice cream machine not to work back in. By the way, as you go on your seven fast food restaurant reviews across Millbrook, Alabama, I'm sure you're going to find out that it is absolutely normal for that ice cream machine not to work. I don't usually get ice cream from McDonald's. A few nights ago, I was in Bradenton, Florida, driving around late at night, and for some reason, I wanted exactly what you were ordering right here. I just wanted some ice cream with some Oreos on it, McFlurry. In fact, it uh, sounds like a good idea right about now. But uh, yeah, the one time I go to McDonald's to get ice cream, what do you think happened? You guessed it. Their machine was down. Standard McDonald's practice. They've lost billions of dollars due to these machines. I'm telling you, they've, they've lost billions of dollars. I'm telling you, billions. It's not even in the millions. I guarantee you this has cost McDonald's billions of dollars. Yet, they're not worried about fixing the ice cream machine. They're trying to see how they can make human robots so they don't have to pay you. Dang it, McDonald's. Another notorious business in the Montgomery area is the Prattville Starbucks. According to Deborah, I would give it zero stars if I could. As a business owner, I understand the industry, Hudson industry, and I try to be patient, but this Starbucks has to be the slowest one I've ever been to. I waited for 45 minutes for one drink I ordered, and I decided to leave. 
I wasn't the only one waiting, by the way. Very unorganized. And the lady making the drinks would make one drink and then talk. I tell you what. Need to put your fastest employee making drinks. That's probably the fastest employee they could find in Prattville. I will never return to this location ever again. Deborah, this Prattville Starbucks, that is standard practice. When I lived in Alabama, I was really happy because I was 15 minutes away from a Starbucks. So I was like, great, there's a Starbucks in Prattville. It's a 15-minute drive. Here's the problem. It would typically take exactly 45 minutes to get through that Starbucks. And that is the way things work in Alabama, Deborah. And that was possibly the fastest worker they could find because, after all, it is Prattville, Alabama. You may do business perhaps somewhere else where people are decent, but in Prattville, Alabama, that's all the customer service you're going to get. And I absolutely resent every single time that I was stuck in this Prattville Starbucks. It took Deborah exactly 45 minutes. Jessica Roberts stayed in a hotel in the Montgomery area. She said the place reeked like cigarettes and Snoop Dogg smoke. The beds were filthy. The location was sketchy. Ladies that helped us were nice. That's a hard find in Alabama. But we ended up leaving the next day and getting a different hotel. I don't want our son breathing in all that smoke. Jessica Roberts, your name sounds like a movie star name. Your son deserves better. And let me tell you something, Jessica. If you care about your son, I wouldn't even have them in a in the Montgomery area to begin with. That's that's like the first mistake is bringing your kids to the Montgomery area. Abby says that the Prattville Starbucks is painfully slow. It took over 40 minutes to get a dang coffee and some basic plain latte. Abby, that's what happens when you get in that line in that Prattville Starbucks. You're better off driving all the way to the one off of Perry Hill. I know that's a long drive, but at least there you'll be in and out in 10 to 15 minutes. Many times I actually drove to Montgomery to get Starbucks because the one in Prattville took too dang long. Charlotte Rudolph, what a beautiful name, has had 27 reviews in Montgomery and they stayed at the Bama Inn. One star review. It's horrible. It's nasty. It's dangerous. Bad attitudes. Surprise. They're still open. Let me tell you. That's kind of like the trademark of customer service in the Montgomery area. I would imagine a hotel in Montgomery called the Bama Inn would be exactly the way you describe it. Charlie it would be horrible, nasty, and dangerous, and definitely bad attitudes. I'm surprised that you're surprised, honestly. We're not a booker. Also stayed at the Bama Inn. A joke. It a crack fiend alley, man. But then again, what did you expect you were going to get at a place called the Bama Inn? I mean, you got what you paid for. Meanwhile, at the Prattville Starbucks, Christina Pearson is having a horrible day. She said she waited 30 minutes for two grandes only to check on the order ticket and it was never printed. I asked if they could make the order, and she said after the 30 more orders are completed. That came in three minutes after. Never in my life have I had just poor customer service at a barista shop. I own a small coffee shop back home, and I would never allow any of my baristas to ignore a mistake that we make and chug it off the line. It was no big deal. Christina, you are in Prattville, Alabama. Say it with me, Christina. Prattville, Alabama. That is the type of customer service you are expecting. None less. Like, if you go to a Starbucks in Prattville, Alabama, that's what they do. They're doing exactly what they're hired to do at that Starbucks. You know what, Christina? I'm not even mad at the Prattville Starbucks. I'm mad at you for expecting them to be quicker. Like, you should just know better than that. You know, I don't even think anybody that lives in Prattville goes to this Starbucks. This Starbucks is just so that people that are driving on Interstate 65 heading north can be frustrated. It's like somebody like just bought this Starbucks. Like, hey man, we're gonna put a Starbucks right by the highway. So when all these people from Michigan, New York come through here, we'll make them wait four to five minutes, man. All right, we're back at that travel center next to 65. Joseph here, who's given 124 reviews. He's now a local guide. 
He says he paid $18 to have his truck broken into and pillaged by the savage goons of Montgomery, Alabama. Great security, I'm sure that's a sarcastic comment. Someone slimmy Jim in my passenger door, grabbed my electronics, even stole my trash can and boots, credit cards. Let me tell you, a trash can is a commodity in Montgomery, Alabama. They've probably never seen anything like that. And my question is, why would somebody in Montgomery, Alabama... See, this is a questionable... This is very... I don't know if I believe this guy. The last thing somebody in Montgomery, Alabama would touch is a trash can. Unless they were using your trash can to put all the stuff they were stealing inside of it. But then they wouldn't know what to do with a trash can. There was credit cards, electronics, but my boots and trash can, why? Let me tell you why. They, he doesn't even know what, he doesn't even understand what happened to him. First thing, the first thing that happened to you, Joseph, is that you went to Montgomery. The second thing is, a trash can can be used to put the other things they stole from you in your boots. People in Montgomery, a pair of boots in Montgomery is like... That's a top dollar item in Montgomery. I mean, a pair of boots in Montgomery is like a Sakayawea on a cross-country expedition. You just gotta have it, man. You don't even understand where you're at, my man. The trash can was used to put the other stuff they stole inside the trash can. And then they ran off with your boots. <laughs> with everything inside the trash Why? Because it's Montgomery, man. They attempted to grab the CB, but it was hard mounted, so they couldn't. Good thing they didn't get the PS5 and laptop in the back in the bunk. I hate thieves, but Joseph, here's the problem. You went to the thief. When you stay at a truck stop on the side of the road in Montgomery, Alabama, you are asking. That's what Montgomery, Alabama do, baby. That's how it roll in Montgomery. I'm not even mad at the thief. He got away with a trash can, some boots, a PS5, some credit cards. Man, that's a good lick right there. At the Popeyes in Millbrook, it took 57 minutes to get our food from the drive-thru. Somehow, everything was cold. They forgot to give me almost half my order. Joshua, welcome to Millbrook, Alabama. That's how they get down. This is how we do it. I suspect that 95% of these reviews are people who are traveling through Montgomery because if you live in the Montgomery area, you just come to expect this type of customer service. Because the people that are traveling through the Montgomery area are shocked in their replies and reviews. The people that live in the Montgomery area, they just anticipate for it. They're like, well, we're going to be here about four to five minutes. Five years ago, Matt Brown stayed at the Key West Inn in Montgomery, Alabama. He said there was females and CHs as far as the eye can see. He's as far, imagine that as far as the eye can see. No toilet paper in the room. My well, with crackheads around, what do you expect? Stains everywhere. You are at the Key West in Montgomery. The place is rough. No crap, you are in Montgomery. My dad left the door open to walk 10 feet to the car and a woman struck her head and asked for a date at 8 p.m. tonight. Ooh. Let me tell you, Matt, I hope you did not take her up on that proposition because it's Montgomery, Alabama. Chances are, anyways, I'm not going to get into this. Victoria Ruiz wrote an entire article about her experience at the Key West Inn. And well, the only thing I'm going to say, if you want to read this whole story, you're welcome to just pause the video and read what this person had to say. My first thing that struck me was like, you made a reservation to be here. It's like, okay, you end up at the Key West Inn when all the other motels, when the Bama Inn gets filled up, when like there's no other option, you're by the side of the road, your car broke down. You're trying to tell me that you made a reservation to stay here? Wow, like you actually purposely, part of your trip was like, Key West End, Montgomery, Alabama. Let's talk about the education in the Montgomery area. Lee High School. By the way, why is there a school named after... I'm not even going to get into this. It's Montgomery, Alabama. It's like 80% black. But they have a school named Lee High School. That, that says it all. I hate this school. It feels like a prison. Well, let me tell you. If you are in Alabama... In a black area and your school is called Lee High School, that's probably the way they designed it. 
Felicia says the administration here's a joke. Yeah, no crap. Joshua Gaming has not found Lee High School to be appealing to him. 23 people, 21 people agreed with his comments. That is noteworthy. 21 people are like, yep, that sounds about right. Sounds like to me the people that are going to Lee High School are crying for help. Somebody please get us out of Montgomery, dang, Alabama. Mr. Robinson has had enough of Jefferson Davis High School. He says this dreadful, horrendous school full of belligerent imbeciles and buffoonery. 14 people were like, yeah, that sounds about right. Jefferson Davis High School. This is, again, another situation where 20-some people click the helpful button. That means people in this area are not happy about the situation. You're better off not going to school at all than ending up here. It says that the teachers don't care about the future of the students. Let me tell you, if you have kids in the Montgomery school system, you need to be reading these reviews and thinking if you can put your family somewhere better because... These are cries for help. These are nightmares that these kids are living in these schools. This is freaking horrendous. Back at the good old Key West Inn, Sierra Butts had a hard time there. She said she walked in for the front desk, got to show up. Had to repeat myself multiple times to get my point across. No, he heard you. He just didn't want to hear you. Walked into the room and it was just a complete mess. What did you expect at the Key West Inn in Montgomery, Alabama, where she mentions she had to repeat herself multiple times to get her point across? They were trying to tell you, Sarah, that you probably weren't going to like the room. The person was ignoring you, and by ignoring you, they were letting you know that this probably wasn't going to work out for you very much. Unfortunately, that's how customer service works in Montgomery, Alabama. Sharon is not happy. She says she tried to get a hold of the Alabama Department of Education. I guess she wants to be a teacher here. And she's like, hey, man, I'm on the phone for two hours. Nobody answers. We have a shortage of teachers, but if there's nobody to hire them, how are you going to get more? Let me tell you, Sharon, you probably might want to find a better place to be a teacher. If you really want to be a teacher, unfortunately, you're going to have to find a place while needed. I agree. They need teachers in Alabama. But uh, as you can see, you're just putting yourself, you deserve better. You deserve a better employer. And the Alabama Department of Education just isn't where you need to be. There's, there's something better for you out there, Shannon. I know there is. And according to David, the Alabama Department of Education doesn't even want to answer the phone anyways. Back at the Key West Inn, I uh, was not comfortable with bed bug bites all over my body. I had a video, but they wouldn't give me my money back. Got kicked out at 1.32 a.m., and they wouldn't give me my money back. One, Brian, I'm sure the Key West Inn is not that expensive of a place to stay, so you didn't lose too much money. And two, it might have just been better to find something else. Like sleeping in your car might have been a better option. Jonathan Russell stayed at the Bama Inn three years ago, and he was just like, Bama, man. Three stars. Bama. Like, it just, it's Bama, man. It's like, 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 like Bama down there. Like, like, Jonathan wasn't even, like, upset. He wasn't upset. He wasn't just grown. He wasn't happy either. He was just like, three stars right down the middle. It's about average. Yeah. Bama down there. Bama down there. Got that Bama. Just that, that Bama down there. That's all he could get. He was just like, that bam down there. Vaughn Lake's apartments. So on the beautiful east side of Montgomery are these nice looking apartments. I actually worked here a few times. And despite the fact that these apartments are nice looking, it doesn't look bad. It looks nice and the price is fair. Sarah will tell you it feels unsafe, uncomfortable. The management doesn't seem to do anything about it. Many people living in the Vaughn Lake's apartments report they're considering moving elsewhere. Loud music is one of the most common complaints people have about this apartment complex. People are like, hey man, they're playing music the whole dang night. There's many complaints for the Vaughn Lakes apartments and they all seem very consistent. The place looks nice, it's pretty, it's affordable, but the place has some serious issues. 
Some people even say they don't feel safe because the people coming in and out all the time are super sketchy. And you know what, Sarah? On my YouTube channel, I have people all the time trying to tell me, man, on the east side of Montgomery, they got brand new apartments. I'm like, yeah, go read the reviews of those apartments. Yeah. Mr. Hick says it's a horrible place to stay. By the way, this was only three months ago, and he's got 184 reviews under his belt. Unfortunately, he's got bad taste. He's stayed at the Red Roof Inn in Montgomery, Alabama. He says there's activity, man. They playing that thing. It might not work down there. He said the rooms had roaches. I'm bothered three times about payment. Then, in typical Alabama fashion, he goes on to make some type of insensitive comments. Mark Hicks, you know, one of the reasons that customer service sucks in Montgomery, Alabama, is because you don't have all those hard-working people in Montgomery. You know why? Because of people like you and remarks like the one you just made. If you were halfway decent, when I go to the Montgomery area... I stay on top of that big, nice, pretty casino there by that, uh, what's that casino there? What time? That's where folks with, whose poop don't stank. We stay in places like that, Mr. Hicks. But apparently, you're just a Mr. Hicks. Mr. Brad complains about the Vaughn Lakes apartments in Montgomery, Alabama. Notice that eight people thought it was helpful. He said the place is awful. I'm writing this in the midnight. Because my wife and I can't get any sleep, they allow the residents to play ridiculously loud music inside the clubhouse at night. I understand letting it go till 9 or 10. He's a reasonable guy, by the way. But it's ridiculous at this point. It sounds like a clubhouse boomerangs outside. But this is a regular occurrence here. No crap, you're in the Vaughn Lakes Apartments in Montgomery, Alabama. What do you expect? Also, the place has become extremely trashy. No, it didn't become extremely trashy. It's... The Vaughn Lakes Apartments in Montgomery, it it's kind of was, it was like that. But anyways, I do not feel safe letting my wife go outside by herself. No crap, you're in Montgomery. I don't, I don't feel safe taking myself outside of Montgomery. Do not, I repeat, do not move to this apartment complex unless you have no job. and can stay up all night listening to the homies blast. They're creating chaos. I have to dodge the trash bags on my way. You know what, dude? You're in Montgomery, Alabama. People are nasty. They play music at night. I dealt with the same exact problem when I lived in Montgomery. That's what people in Montgomery do, especially on the first of the month when they get their Bama Bam food stamps. It's nothing wrong with Montgomery, Alabama. It's something wrong with you for ending up there. That's the way folks behave in Montgomery, Alabama. If I were you, I would move somewhere decent. Rents around here about three times as much if you want to come up here to Sarasota. In the meantime, I hope you guys liked this video. By the way, personal opinion disclaimer, no association disclaimer. These are just the most infamous businesses that I hear about in Montgomery, Alabama, or places that people tell me really suck, or places that when I lived in Montgomery, Alabama, I found myself aggravated at myself so if you've lived in montgomery alabama and there's businesses that you think i should review if this series does well we can always do another video and if it doesn't then we'll keep trying something else let me know what you guys think did you guys like this series should i continue it or yeah whatever it is what it is i hope you guys liked it checking out from beautiful sarasota florida